Can our son lead a normal life? The world may never know. Welcome back to Under Reading Movies. I'm your guy. I'm your man, Mr. Alton Henry. Today I'm going to talk to you of another film that I believe is severely underrated and it doesn't get talked about enough anymore. And really, the movie came out seven years ago. Wow. But I'm here to bring it back to you now. And actually, it's just made itself available on HBO uh, HBO Max. But before we get started, like, subscribe, comment below if you like this video. Share. Please share. I'll be your best friend. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> no, for real, though. Yeah, this currently this film is currently on HBO Max. The Accountant, starring Ben Affleck, Anna Kendrick, J.K. Simons, John Bernthal, John Lithow. A crime action thriller with a little mystery uh, behind it. It's about a man named Christian Wolf, an accountant, a tax accountant, who secret secretly is a hired assassin hired for clients to get rid of people that don't need to be around and it's more about the fbi's investigation tracking him down and learning more about the origins and the story surrounding the accountant ben affleck plays wonderfully as the accountant which i think ben affleck gets shit on a lot i feel bad for him but he's awesome in this movie. Like he is good. Like Ben Affleck's underrated. You just got to give him the right role, and he he'll nail it. All right, you just gotta you just gotta find the right role for him. Batman's his number one. I'm sorry. <laughs> Batman is his number one. But this will be one of my favorite Ben Affleck movies, and this guy plays probably one of the most subdued characters heroes that i've seen in the film in a while yet he's kind of likable he plays a man who has um i think he, i think i think his character is autistic i think he plays an autistic um assassin who has very advanced skills more so than in, in more so in certain areas who um meets a um meets anna kendrick i forgot what her character is but she plays a, like his assistant of accounting and everything and the guy is very smart the guy is highly intelligent and he somewhat protects her a bit when she gets involved when the accountant's hired for a job and uh to cover up some um money some money somewhat just things that are going on with this company he's hired to kind of account and check all the books for it. and then suddenly he's let go and he finds that very unusual once he soon figures out that people are trying to have him killed and assassinated and tries to help uh rescue anna kendrick john bertha also is in this family he plays a assassin also the tr he's there to track down ben affleck's character but what i really loved about this film this film reminds me of old school action films back in the 90s where they try to be more um plot driven like they tried to be a little bit more um story driven where the story tries to be a little bit more complicated where there's more mystery and there's more things to unravel when it comes to story and i love that this film was more of a story driven movie and it's something you don't normally see it actually reminds me of a recent film that i've seen uh that nobody really watched was the um film with Liam Neeson called Memory which I might talk about that one that one's underrated as well but with this here 
it has a nice vibe of like espionage action with a little bit of a um I'm sorry, this is just me, but it has a little bit of a superhero trend vibe to it. I don't want to get too much detail into like the plot details in the story because it's it's like it's one of those movies where you really have to watch just to watch it and to see the surprise and then kind of um, the twists and turns that kind of happens throughout the film. There's a lot, especially at the ending. The ending, I would say, has a twist I didn't see coming. In fact, it actually like it's a twist where it doesn't it doesn't make the film feel like it's bullshit, but it's it's a twist where you're kind of like, wow, I didn't expect that. And uh, yeah, like it, honestly, I don't have an issue with the film except this is just me. Like like I said, I mentioned it had like an X Men vibe to it. Like a superhero vibe. It had an X-Men vibe. Like towards the very end. It had a X-Men vibe to it. And I think the film dragged on a little bit too long. For the ending. The ending. Because I didn't think the movie knew where it wanted to end. Um, honestly after the first, after that final action scene. That was cool. The movie ending right there. And then quickly wrapping up after that. And then it's over. Um, this is one I feel like a sequel could happen. But... I don't know. I, th I think it's a film where you kind of have to check out and kind of just be open-minded to it. It's, I think it's a great action thriller. I think it's one of um, Ben Affleck's underrated movies. The Accountant, have you seen it? Comment below. Let me know if you have seen it, what you thought about it. And let me know what is your favorite underrated movie.